What's up guys? Welcome to another video. We're actually going to be doing another tips and tricks video this week. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these and I really wanted to get back to it. Um, and what really spurred it on is the other day I was watching a competitive league match and it was just a friendly match so you know when you're watching these friendly matches you're really not watching competitive players you're you're just watching whoever decided they wanted to show up and play this friendly match so anyways i was watching them and i was just it shocked me how a, a competitive team which again just because they signed up doesn't necessarily mean they're competitive but it just shocked me how many mistakes they were making and just things that new players do and so it, it just really got me thinking that i really wanted to do a new video uh, talking about tips and tricks. So I got a couple of players to come help me out. Uh, Senior Chabwiz and Senior Bull came in to help me out with some footage here. So we're gonna get rolling and we're gonna go through five mistakes that a lot of players make. So number five, settings. And this is such a small thing, but it makes such a massive difference and it's so quick and easy to fix this. If you look at my mouse sensitivity over here, I've got it set at five. Now the general thought is you want low mouse sensitivity and high DPI on your mouse. Mine is set about 1500 and then my mouse sensitivity is set at five. Now if you can't control your DPI, don't worry about it. It's a small factor. What you really want is to get that mouse sensitivity really far down. Not too far down, you still want to be able to make quick movements and spin moves and everything like that to be able to look in different directions quickly. But at the same time, you want to be able to control your recoil and hit very small targets. Video. Frame rate smoothing, I have on. And my max frame rate I've got set at 200 just because I believe that's what my graphics card can handle. It's going to be up to you and your gaming setup. I have my display mode in full screen because that is what works best for me. Whenever I go to windowed, I have a lot of lag problems. So what I like to do is full screen. Even full screen windowed does not do well with my setup. Full screen is what I like. Know your system, know how you like to play, know what it likes to play, and then we'll get on to number four. Number four, crowding each other. This is very annoying for the person that's in front as they try to clear a room and move through and progress. You got another player standing directly behind them and often getting in their way as they try to look in different directions. One grenade will take out both players right now and also a very lucky headshot, which also not very lucky, it's actually extremely easy. Several of my clips I've been able to get two kills with one bullet because people are standing right behind each other and getting in each other's way. I've also been killed because somebody got in my way and it's just super annoying. So let's correct the noobism. Chab is gonna move to the south side. Ghoul is gonna move to the north side, cover different angles and look to both directions. Now also I moved up on the top to give them a little bit of added support without also being in the room. It is very unlikely that one grenade will take out all three of us right now. So as they go through this time, watch both players and how they try to stay out of each other's way. And when Chab realizes that Ghoul is looking in the same direction, he moves. Number three, leaving cover. We're gonna go through several different scenarios here and we'll walk through each one of them. So first one, pulling a grenade, stepping out into the middle of the doorway and then cooking it and throwing it. Why? Doesn't make sense. Running straight through, not using any angles, looking around or even using any kind of cover to your advantage, you're just running. Now here's another one. Looking at up and over, you're just presenting your entire body and you're not really scanning, you're just kind of looking up there, just asking for somebody to look down and shoot you. So 
So we'll correct all three of these. Let's start with the grenade. Pull the pin, stay behind cover, count to three or four, whatever you're comfortable with, and then move out. So pull pin, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three, throw, behind cover, back out. As you push through dark, look around at different angles. Use your lean, use the bench, slide out a little bit further. That's not a very common place to be looking if you're looking right at the edge of a wall. As you're going to look up and over, look to the very far left as far as you can. That way, if you're leaning and looking to the very far left, you're going to see somebody as soon as they see you or hopefully just as soon. If it's a sniper, they may have your number, but you're not going to go anywhere by just sitting behind and not pushing forward on attack. Number two, auto fire, especially at distance or when you're trying to get a very small target. Now this happens a lot more often than you may think it does. If somebody tries to run the objective, somebody will be up and over or at a long distance on any other map or extract or VIP, whatever the map may be or whatever the objective may be, using auto fire and not controlling the recoil does not do anybody any good. So let's correct the noobism. Let's put our rifle in single fire and really focus in on the body. And finally, number one, standing still and presenting yourself like a target at a firing range. And you may think I'm over exaggerating, but I was literally watching somebody in a competitive match, friendly match, I'm sorry, sit still as if they were just letting the other team get points. So let's correct this. Don't sit still. Don't just be a target for somebody. Don't be easy points. Make it difficult to kill you. Use different elevations. Kneel down, poke out, stand up, poke out, jump across, Retrograde a little bit, get a better position, throw a flash, something. Don't just be easy points. And, you know, if you're new to the game, you're not going to be great at this right off the bat. But don't just stand still. Do, do anything. Something is better than nothing. Don't be easy points. Alrighty, guys. That's it for us today. If y'all had something that you just see all the time and you thought it would show up on this list, Leave a comment down below. I'm always looking for stuff to do in my videos and I really look for y'all's feedback on things so that I know what y'all really want to watch and see. Uh, those were my top five that I think just happen all the freaking time and they're just super annoying. Anyways, give a like, give a follow, hit me up on Twitch, Aureli Gaming on Twitch, on YouTube, on Twitter. Uh, if y'all got anything else y'all like to see, let me know. I've got a couple games in my back pocket that I've been thinking about streaming, but really haven't started anything up. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. We'll see you in the next video.